Hi guys, welcome to Ontogenesis Automation's quick review and quick preparation program. We start with our Ohm's law. Ohm's law is V is equal to I R. That is voltage is proportional to your current. But at what condition? It is at constant temperature. Actually Ohm's law is valid if the resistance is constant. Then only your voltage and current are directly proportional to each other. Now Ohm's law in many examinations often some questions come that Ohm's law is valid for this device or not, uh, valid for this circuit or not. So Ohm's law is not valid for, that is important, Ohm's law is not valid for, not valid for electrolytes. Ohm's law is not valid for your vacuum tubes, vacuum tubes or your gas, gas fuel tubes, gas tubes or you can say all kinds of semiconductor devices, semiconductor devices. Ohm's law is not valid for your arc lamps, means any material which is very temperature sensitive, whose resistance varies uh, highly with temperature, Ohm's law is not valid for, uh, for those materials, arc lamps or your metals which get heated up or your temperature sensitive, sensitive metals. So Ohm's law is not valid for these elements. Mainly Ohm's law is valid for your passive elements like your resistance inductance and uh, inductor register or capacitor. Now see when I am saying that passive element and active elements so questions comes in our mind what are the active elements and what are the passive elements. So active elements and your passive elements okay what are active elements active elements are those which delivers energy which delivers energy and passive elements are those which receives energy so active elements <coughs> delivers energy for indefinite indefinite time indefinite time and passive elements receives energy actually they receives energy and this energy can be uh, stored in your electric or magnetic field or it can be uh, converted into heat so they receives energy and they convert it into heat or stores energy as electric or magnetic field and they can deliver they also can deliver some of them they can deliver energy but for very short period of time or for say for definite period of time so this is the difference indefinite time and definite time they also delivers energy but for indefinite time likewise the voltage source or current source they also deliver uh, energy receives energy and they can deliver energy for definite times for example your capacitor and inductor so passive elements are basically your r l and c register inductor and capacitor sometimes diode is also considered as passive elements if it do not have your negative differential resistance if diode has negative differential resistance then it is considered as active otherwise it is passive so junction junction diode transformer transformer is passive because power is constant in transformer active elements active elements are mainly your tube devices or your semiconductor devices semiconductor devices and tube devices tube devices can be classified into two categories as you know one is your vacuum tube and 
gas field now in uh, vacuum tubes means your vacuum diode vacuum triad or vacuum pentad or uh, your gas tubes are likewise your gas diode or thyretron thyretron so important is this gas diodes these are your active elements and uh, semiconductor devices like bjt fat or your ujt or your scr or tunnel diode tunnel diode jenner diode etc these are your active elements okay so i hope your confusion in between active and passive has been solved next important thing that we will move is uh, your uh, network spiral type ka burden tube hoga this is the burden tube yahan pe dekho ye fixed hai hum padhte aaye hain ki fixed and fixed and so ye ho gaya tumhara pressure goes